Here we see a snail making good time across the tile. We can measure the distance traveled and the amount of time it took. We define speed as the distance divided by the time. Here we have 14 centimeters traveled in 35 seconds. That's 0.4 centimeters per second. If we plot this on the time versus distance graph with time in seconds for the vertical axis and distance in meters for the horizontal axis, we see that slow is a very steep slope. Standing still would be straight up. Here's a wild tiger angelfish. They have been seen to move at around 1.3 meters per second. Of course, people can move a lot faster than this. The fastest man alive is Jamaican Usan Bolt, who ran the 200 meters in 19.19 .19 seconds, or 10.4 meters per second. But that's slow compared to cheetahs. They're the fastest mammal, topping 27.8 meters per second. That's 100 kilometers per hour. But the peregrine falcon puts that to shame. They are the fastest animal on the planet, soaring up to 389 kilometers per hour. That's 25,000 times faster than the snail. Graphing these speeds against the snail's almost vertical line shows how horizontal the lines can get at faster velocities. Of course, we have cars that can travel faster than any of these animals. Arthur McDonald was one of the first to capture the land speed record at Daytona Beach in a nap year back in 1905. It set the record with 168.4 kilometers per hour. Malcolm Campbell took the record in 1935 in his Bluebird. It recorded a top speed of 484.6 kilometers per hour. Craig Breedlove streaked his jet-powered Spirit of America across the western Utah desert flats October 13th 1964, to set a world land speed record of 754.3 kilometers per hour. Gary Gabalik smashed the record at Bonneville Salt Flats with the Blue Flame, reaching the record speed of 1,066 kilometers per hour. And in 1997, Andy Green drove the Thrust SSC through the sound barrier to 1,228 kilometers per hour. This is the current world record for ground speed. Let's listen to what breaking the sound barrier sounds like. Oh, it's straight up as fast. To graph these speeds, we recalibrate the x-axis intervals from 1 meter per mark to 100 meters per mark. 